Hey, welcome back to my Europa project. I know I haven't been around uh, to give updates lately, but uh, some of the work that I've been doing on the Europa has been small and not really worthy of maybe like a long video or whatnot. So I figured I'd go into the shop here and show you where I'm at and kind of where I left off. And it'll be a short video, so um, hopefully we can get some uh, progress on it, you know, as the temperature gets warmer. And uh, making videos is hard. <laughs> I will say the editing it takes to, to put something out and just kind of like the, the arts of doing that, I'm it's just not my talent. But uh, we'll go ahead and go into the shop and take a look. All right, here we are. So. It kind of looks the same that's because it pretty much is the same uh, i have it hoisted up right now because i'm actually uh, changing out the uh, original fuel lines in it that have been there for years i'll go over that in a minute but what i'm excited to show you is this uh close out panel that i've been working on as you can see here here's a a board that i've cut out and this was the piece that you saw earlier where i um, was a little bit bigger and I've cut it out but I've been doing some work to fill in kind of make a lip here for this access panel to, to go against um, I was gonna go ahead and start putting nut plates in it and then I realized I have to go and glass this in and some of the, where the glass overlays it could be it's really close and I don't want glass over the the rivets and what whatnot so uh, I've decided to hold off on finishing the nut plates until I get it fully glassed in and then I'll come back and put in the nut plates but I have the holes marked out so it's just a matter of redrilling them if I do go over a bit um, so that's the piece there uh, you can see the orange um, is a spacer that I used uh, to give me kind of a nice even relief all the way around the access panel and the lighter color you see here is phlox and I printed this out on my 3D printer, uh, basically measured this distance and went into a CAD program and drafted some up. It took a few iterations, but uh, came out with these and I just printed a few of these to go on either end and then I cut off the corner pieces and then I put them here to give me the side spacing. What's really nice about this is after you do the layups, um, they pop out, of course. Um, but when I'm coming back to drill these holes, it helps keep that alignment exactly where I want it. And I'm able to, to put the spacing where I need and go from there. But it's a little neat trick. I, it was cold for a few weeks and I was in the house, so I figured I'd try something while at my desk. So back in the plane here, I've been working on getting these uh, fuel lines removed. And the tank is under here. And the fuel uh, sumps, I guess you could say, are, that come out of the bottom of the main tank over here and the auxiliary tank here, they run back to some filters under this panel so it's easy to change it out. And then they run back to the fuel selector valve and where you can select uh, main or aux and then that goes back to a single line goes back to a fuel pump that's over here <laughs> a lot of back and forth and then uh, uh, that after the fuel pump then the line goes all the way back up the tunnel to the front of the engine some other Europa builders have done something uh, a little bit different the original plans had the fuel line that would come out and you would come out the side here and under your seat and back and into the selector and then back to your fuel pump and so forth and you would have to pull your seat up to change it uh, this one i've elected to have the filters under that panel there to make them accessible so i can change them out and when i say filter there are these little glass tube filters and that you take these out, you can either replace it as a whole or unscrew it and get to this inner filter here and clean it out or replace that inner piece. 
common in pretty much all Europas. It's uh, what they call for in the plan, so I'm not deviating there. And as you can see, the closeout or the access panel work here that in the previous video. So um, the trick that I'm doing here is as I'm working on the Europa and changing out these fuel lines, that's something you have to do later on, like once the plane is built. And I always hear horror stories of how hard it is to get your hands in there to, to move things around and replace them. And so I'm doing this now as if, kind of as if I had limited access, but I can already tell future me is going to hate me now <laughs> because <laughs> maybe there's some opportunities I could have taken advantage of while it's still in the build process to make life easier in the future. But I hate analysis paralysis. I'm fighting it every day. And so I'm, I just want to get the plane done. And I know it's, I'll regret it later, but you know, at least the plane will be done versus, you know, a big think tank. So anyway, so here it is. Not much really has been done to it. So um, like I've been focusing most of my time on, on the access panel. All right, I figured I'd show you the kind of the schematic of the fuel line in case it wasn't clear. So you have your, your this is the forward part of the plane here. So the forward's this way. And you have your fuel tank main and reserve. And they come out of these ports here and they run through some filters to a fuel selector. And that fuel selector, based on which tank you select, will go to a single pump, electrical pump here, and then runs back forward to the engine driven fuel pump. And then from there it's distributed uh, to the carburetors. But I thought that might clear things up a little bit more. Uh, there is also some drain ports. I've got to replace those hoses as well. And I don't think I bought enough hose, so I'm going to have to go back and get some more, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, the other thing that I've done is in here, you can't really see it. You see those studs. That's in the wing tip underside of the plane or the wing here. On, on the, that's the pilot side, port side wing. There's... There was these uh, power supplies for your strobes and your position lights, nav lights. And these do draw a lot of current. I talked about it before in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go into much detail. So today, uh, because of a sale that's going on, I went ahead and purchased the uh, Aero LEDs, uh, NPSs, and so I'll be replacing all this funky wire that was in here previously with some some better aircraft grade stuff and then I've got to figure out how to do a uh, adapter plate of some sort or maybe close that back up and redrill holes for the arrow LEDs so I'm a little excited to get those uh, here it just means that I can almost finish the wings <laughs> I still have a little bit of work left on it I need to paint the uh, uh, attachment from one of the early videos I need to come back and balance the ailerons now that they're painted and just kind of close it up. I, there's some also, there's some other things I need to fix, uh, like these uh, lines here that go to the AOA port. They're probably a little old, uh, and so might as well replace it now since I have easy access to it. Of course, these wings are they come off and on easily anyway, so it's no big deal if I need to change those out later. Uh, another thing I need to work on, I'll go the other side of the wing. Another thing I need to work on is this socket here. As you can see, we have a little delamination on the, on the fiberglass there, and you can see when I lift that, the whole the whole socket's lifting. So I'm gonna have to cut this all out and uh, redo the attachment. If anybody has uh, some good tips on how to redo that, please let me know. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to rig the airplane to relocate this. I'm hoping I can find some some uh, easy way to, to know exactly where that location is uh, when I reset it. But as you can see, the old wires here, that all is coming out. P3 
torpedo static that need, that's being replaced. So all the old's getting ripped out and replaced with new. All right, thanks for tuning in to my Europa project and getting a short update on where I'm at. Uh, sorry I haven't been putting much content out. Again, not really my thing. Uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit better at it, a little more efficient, but again, that I'd rather be working on this thing than working on videos. So hope to catch you later.